Good morning, everyone, and happy Saturday. My name is Callie, and this is another weekend of clarinets, cats, and coffee. In today's video, I am going to give you guys an articulation etude. It's really, really short. It's from the Close method, and it uh, gives us practice doing articulation styles over the break. Um, so it's very simple. Um, but difficult. So um, I will play that for you guys in a moment. Um, but really quick, I want to make sure you guys know that Clarinets Cats and Coffee now has a Facebook group. It's a closed group and it is a practice page where viewers can post themselves playing these excerpts. So if you're really having a great time and you're having fun practicing with these, go ahead and set up your phone, hit record and post it on the Facebook group. I will be moderating it. I will not tolerate any kind of negative or hateful or mean behavior on the group. So uh, it, it, it will be a safe environment for everybody, hopefully, to share their progress over time. So go ahead and download this. And it doesn't matter if you play fast. It doesn't matter if you play it slow. Everybody is at a different level. But the main point is that we want to encourage each other to practice and get better and watch each other's progress over time. I also want to give a shout out to my patrons. Thank you all so much for supporting my channel. If any of you are interested in becoming a patron and supporting Callie's Clarinet channel, I have included a link below. You can become a patron for as little as $3 a month and you get perks and all kinds of fun stuff. So um, I hope to see some of you guys there. All right, so this particular etude um, study technical study, we're going to say, um, is, is deceivingly difficult. Uh, even just the first two notes can be tricky. G, D, full staccato, right? Below the break, throat tone, gross. Above the break, clarion, also potentially gross, right? So uh, I'm just going to share a few tips with you guys that I have found to help me become more successful at executing passages like this with ease. So the first thing you want to make sure you do, and I say this in every video, right, is make sure you take a really big deep breath. Take more air in than you think you should use. It will enable you to play with a more relaxed exhale. So once you are feeling comfortable with your air, I would suggest practicing this very slow and exaggerate all of these articulations okay so your staccato try playing them very short not gross and pecky but just short and light and that does take a lot of air support and a little bit of coordination um, but uh, if you exaggerate at the slower tempos then as you speed it up it will become clean and it won't sound so weird and disjointed, it will flow together very easily. So staccatos very short, make the accents nice and full with a lot of air, not a hard punch of the tongue, right? And, uh, and then you'll want to clip the slurs just a little bit so that the following staccato note has a very clean, precise start. So all of this can be best executed with proper air support and a nice big breath before you begin. So when practicing this slowly, I recommend. So with just enough air support and a little bit of ex exaggeration of the articulation, you'll be able to play this very clean and accurately. And then the last thing that I find really tricky about this one is 
the slur to grouping, right? So especially when our pinkies are involved. So we want to make sure that we're not rushing the two slurred notes and compressing them together, okay? So um, if you accent the beginning of each of the slurred groups, you'll have that kind of anchor and it will help prevent you from rushing those. Um, another thing you can do is actually if you're able to, um, sometimes you have like an open G and this won't actually help you much, but uh, on, on notes that actually require pressing into the instrument, you can actually press into the instrument just a little harder than you normally would uh, to kind of give yourself that anchor. And then when you relax, you just relax into the next note. For example, like when you're going from like B to C, just press into the B a little bit and then relax. The relaxing will help make it e even, right? I find that interval to be really hard. Like the, the, the pinkies can just kind of get out of control with that, right? All right, and so I'm gonna go ahead and play through this. I try to play it at a pretty consistent speed throughout. It's not super fast, so hopefully you guys can keep up and play along with me. Um, if not, you can slow it down if you need to. Uh, I think there's a little button somewhere on the screen where you can slow or speed up uh, recordings. But when you're practicing on your own, you'll wanna actually try to make this sound a little bit less etuding a 2d and a little more musical so give some shape to your lines and and things like that so um let's go ahead and play this together just very simple very basic uh comfortable tempo all the way through and yeah let's go ahead and give this a shot fun guys I can't wait to review this over the week and really refine my articulation and my hand and finger technique over the break so if you guys are at home and you're having a great time practicing this go ahead and hit record on your smartphone and go to my Facebook group clarinets cats and coffee and share this with the community it's going to be a positive inviting, encouraging environment, and I am really excited to see some of your faces and hear some of your playing. So with that said, I hope you have a wonderful weekend, a good rest of your week, and as always, happy practicing.